How's it going? My name is Weiner. I am a tattoo artist and I'm based in Phoenix. I'm originally born in Orange County. I'm from Santa Ana. And uh, now I do reside in, uh, in Phoenix for the past 20 years, 20 some odd years. My work is, I mean, I, I'm a tattoo artist by trade. That's my bread and butter. But I'm also a pencil artist. You know, I do a lot with graphite. Uh, I would say about 98% of the compendium of my work is uh, in graphite. So since I've been drawing since a little kid, it was a, a kind of like a smooth transition into tattooing since it's kind of the same, but obviously the, the apparatus is different. Now I'm a fine line tattoo artist, black and gray. The inspiration for my work since uh, a major percentage of our clients are of Mexican heritage, tends to be of Mexican heritage, of Mexican cultura, uh, whether it be from Day of the Dead to Mexica to um, present day, you know, even up to the revolution, of course, uh, which is something very important to us to hold on to our past and understand our past. I believe, I believe the relation would be, is, is a fairly easy to grasp uh, correlation because our people are so in tune, whether they were born here or over there, they're so in tune with our past and um, more of a, of a prideful of our past. And a lot of us like to wear that on our bodies via the tattoo. So I believe that this is important for two reasons. One, uh, for the fanatical that, that enjoys uh, the Mexica, the Aztec past and stuff. Uh, and the second is for the, the person that doesn't know and that it comes here to us, to our city, and that we can experience it firsthand. A lot of us, you know, some of us out of fear or out of uh, financial uh, lack thereof, uh, can't make it down there. But to have it here, I think it's gonna be very, very interesting and very cool. Art museums are important because it's, it's like our church. And I think, um, I think that's important to retain some of marvelous works from past artists, not so past artists, to current and, and stuff. I think the existence of this is vital to society. Art is vital to society. I believe the Phoenix art scene is interesting in many levels. I believe it thrives. And I believe sometimes it hurts. I believe as much as there's progressive artists that want to do and go and go and go, there's a, a few that are a little bit more stagnant and, but nonetheless, I believe that it, it, more than anything, I think my, my adjective that I would like to use for it is to, that it thrives, it, it's, it's good, it's, it moves forward, it's progressive. If I was to tell a person in regards to the Phoenix Art Museum, it's, it's the obvious, you know. I'm, I'm a fanatic when it comes to art, uh, other people's art, and to come to, to an establishment such as this one. Uh, and, and see it firsthand and be up close to it. It's very personal to me. So when I try to, I don't want to say the word convince because you don't have to convince them, it, they'll come. They'll come because it's, because it's very cool. It's cool, I don't want to use the word. It's cool because I think it's very basic, but it's, it, it, it draws people. And the exhibitions that you folks have in here is, is, an, is interesting. I think you folks point on key things and people gravitate to it. So I don't think I w it would take a lot for me other than, hey man, let's go to the Phoenix Art Museum, let's go check out what they got going on right now. And they'll be like, all right, and let's go eat afterwards. And then that's, that's it. Yeah, I think out of the first Friday, what I would like to juice out of it is, obviously is knowledge for the people. Whether they've been here before as an experience, if they've never been here, an experience, but to leave with knowledge and to see an important city that once existed and now it's like an anomaly because it, it disappeared, it dissipated into thin air and nobody knows. So I think the 
I think it's gonna leave knowledge, it's gonna leave, you know, interest. I think it's it's beautiful. I think people are gonna be mesmerized but by these uh, these antiquities and how people what people could make at that time without modern tools or modern electric or anything, you know, and mesmerization I guess. Come on down and check out the exhibition Tehuatihuacan. You don't want to miss it. <laughs>